Hey, neighbor, how's it going, mate? Oh, hey, Nico, how's it going, man? Yeah, I'm just out running a couple of errands, thought I'd swing by and drop the tool off I borrowed. Say, is that how you listen to your music every day? <sighs> yeah. I can't even hear it, how can you? Yeah, I can't really hear it either, but I have a vague idea of what's happening, you know? Man, that's pathetic. Is that really an iPad, like, 10 meters away? No wonder you can't hear it. Yeah. Say, didn't you just upgrade, like, half your home theater setup inside? You're right. I have an idea. Ugh. Americans. Hey, thanks so much, man. Oh yeah, sure thing, man. Have a good day. Nice guy. So I enjoy working on my car in my garage. Who doesn't? But what can really elevate your experience to the next level is a proper stereo. Now, some people go the route of having an old receiver with like vintage speakers, something really grungy, you know, garage feeling. Other people go the more super modern route like HomePods or Sonos systems or other streaming devices. And then some do like a used TV soundbar or a new one because they're so cheap. And then there's the Bluetooth speaker, the portable solution that you can move anywhere around the garage and it's just a little bit quieter, but still works, it's still music. Or of course there's headphones. I mean, there's a lot of solutions, infinite solutions. All of those solutions are totally fine, totally acceptable. And like everything else, really what you enjoy, what works for you is probably the right solution. So I was hoping to do kind of a Dolby Atmos, Dolby Vision certified home theater. This is what I've been working on for the past year and a half on the inside of my house. Now, I use home theater lightly because I like it to be kind of an open space, open concept with the rest of the house. I don't like the home theater rooms that are just private off on their own exclusively for the purpose of being a theater. That's fine if that's for you. I just like having hosting, having people over and just enjoying content occasionally. Um, but this is what is coming, or actually what was going. These were my original rear speakers, and that was the original rear sub. These Klipsch RS25s are about 20 years old. They are old. The sub is not quite that old, but it's, it's, it's a dated kind of 10 inch sub. So basically I'm taking the approach I mentioned earlier and having kind of a older speakers in the garage with a receiver, sort of. So I like to keep this channel pretty car focused, but if any of you guys ever want to see a full walkthrough of what I went with the home theater and why I bought it, you know, I research everything to death, let me know in the comments. I'll make a video including that somewhere. But again, it's cars. Look at how dirty this thing is. I need to wash it. Um, anyways, I'm a techie person. So the idea of like an old fashioned receiver and speakers is cool, but I like it to be integrated with all the rest of my technology. Maybe that's the snob in me, the IT guy, the Apple fanatic. Um, so yeah, what am I doing? My original plan was to do HomePods. I love the Apple HomePod. I have a stereo pair in my bedroom. I thought about doing that out here, but HomePods are expensive and they're not exactly what I'd want to be in a dusty, dirty environment. So I came up with an interesting, at least I think, solution of having old speakers combined with the new technology of AirPlay through a 10 year old Wi-Fi router. That's right, the old Airport Express from Apple was a router basically from like 10 years ago, but it does have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the back and it supports AirPlay too, which is their newest codec of you know, streaming music or content. So I decided to get kind of a desktop type amplifier, a small one, I think it's 100 watts, powers two speakers, can power a sub, but this sub is actually active so I don't have to worry about powering it. So my plan is to have the sub out, the uh, 3.5 millimeter to 
twin RCA line in and we'll see if it works. You'll have to see my garage build over time alongside the Miata build because there's a lot of stuff I want to do. I mean, this is still kind of the raw drywall from the new build. So I could paint it. I could add better lighting. There's a lot of stuff I could do. If you have garage ideas, throw them in the comments because I am all ears just gleaning information right now. But yeah, let's take a look at what I got. Let me show you all the equipment. So here's what we're working with as far as supplies. This is the Klipsch RS100 or SW100, something like that. 10 inch sub ported in the back, uh, should be plenty of oomph for the garage. And then these are two Klipsch RS25s. Uh, yeah, like I said, pretty old, but honestly faithful. They got a keyhole mount there. So I'm gonna basically mount them to the studs, I think out in the garage. Uh, these are just the, I guess, uh, what do you call them, grills, which I'll put on just to, I guess, have some dust protection. Subwoofer cable, it is a powered subwoofer. This will pay what sends signal from the Airport Express that I mentioned into the actual amp. And here's power cables, shelf that I found, mounting brackets in case I decide to mount the shelf. And this is what was in that box you just saw earlier, um, speaker wire, and this is an amp. So in theory, this can all work together and use this as the, basically the input, I guess. I can airplay music to this in tandem with all my other devices, and it should give me a garage stereo system. That's the hope. We'll see what actually happens. So I opted for 16 gauge wire, which I am cutting to size and then actually stripping it myself, which I have wire strippers here. So I don't know, standard wire stripping. There's nothing really to say here. And this is the, uh, the amp. So have right out, left out, and then the Airport Express, which I do need to set up. It's currently configured to an old Wi-Fi network. I need to reset that. And I just gotta hang the speakers and finish mounting them. And then uh, grab my subwoofer cable from inside. It's all coming together. Right, GoPro died. Honestly, the audio quality in this thing's terrible anyways. Uh, should have never bought that on Facebook Marketplace. One of my few regrets a face of marketplace. Um, I have my trusty slash crappy work PC, hashtag team Mac. Um, and that is hardwired in to the airport express. I'm going to see if I can set that up to basically pull in my internet and not repeat it. It can't be used as a bridge to repeat the network. I'm just basically extending my network to that. And then I can airplay to that from Apple devices and that will transmit music to this. So, this is all set up. These are wired. Those are wired. I use thumbtacks for now. I'll eventually do something a bit cleaner, I think, but just to make sure everything works. I mean, it's all clean, but it just, it looks a little tacky. <laughs> uh, anyways, yeah, so like the dash cam, like a lot of other things, it is good to test before you like fully crazy install it. So I want to see if this will even work. In theory, everything will work. All right, it is joining my network, which yes, that is my network SSID. <laughs> we'll see if this actually works. I am, I have my hopes up, man. That's a really good 10 inch clip sub. These are good, they're reference, but they're before reference premiere was actually a thing. That's how old these are. These are bipoles that have got, I think four inch drivers, two tweeters each. Um, they're ported, they do sound pretty good. And yeah, I have them mounted Actually, not perfectly symmetrical, if you noticed, but nothing symmetrical in this garage, so I don't think I'd care. So that one's there. That one needed to be moved over a little bit because of the wheels. 
Um, and because they're dipoles with angled tweeters, I didn't want to put them like in the corner. So in theory, this will sound great. Uh, I don't know how the sub will sound down there, but we'll find out. Crossing all my fingers. Bet, as the kids say. Green light, I think we're golden. It's test time. It's working. Oh my gosh, and it sounds amazing. And it's right as the sun set over the mountains. I'm thrilled, that was just seamless. And now, oh man, it sounds so good. Something by Ui maybe? So, airplay works perfectly. See that here. Oh dang, the sub's a little bit intense. Well, that's it for me. This was a kind of a flawless modification. I don't know if you can call it a modification. It wasn't on the car, it was on the garage. Um, but now I have the audio I've always really wanted because I had a home pod out here that was great, but I just don't want it to get like dirty and dusty. And then I had a home pod mini, which is fine, just not for a garage. You can't hear it over anything. But now, to an actual 2.1 system, blending the technology of old speakers and amplifiers with new, I say modern, this Airport Express is from 2012, but AirPlay 2, the modern standard. So I can beam music to that, listen to it while I'm working on the car. Of course, it's a lot of times not music I can play in videos, which means I don't listen to it because copyright, so. But for some things, this will be great. <laughs> now, I really should just put new speakers in the car. So, yeah, again, if anyone knows the exact recommendation, I mean, I'll probably just end up going full Bosectomy, putting in my own amplifier. I wouldn't want to say custom speakers, but like the car needs some help. It's fine. I mean, it's not known for good quality sound system, but it's on the list. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, I'll see another video very soon. Plenty more Miata content to come as you can probably guess. We are still in winter, but uh, yeah, summer's around the corner. Cheers.